The following program has been rated GE by the Kenya Film Classification Board. It is therefore suitable for general family viewing. Hello viewer, welcome to Chungu Chajami. I'm your host Eunice Mugo. Today on the show we have guests who are going to help us to understand more about the senior citizen. Our topic today is Silver Academy. What is Silver Academy? Why is it important for us as a society to embrace Silver Academy? These are some of the things that you are going to tackle on this show. I'm not alone. I will allow my guests to introduce themselves. Welcome guests, starting with you. My name is Hilda Atieno. I'm the MCA in Silver Academy. Welcome Hilda, and to you, madam. Thank you very much, Madam Yunis. Uh, my name is Irene Aguro Tieno. I'm in charge of Silver. Welcome on the show. Viewers joining across all our social media networks, that's GBS TV Africa, our SMS slide is to double one double four. Just to kick start, what is Silver Academy and why Silver Academy? Starting with you, Madam Irene. Okay. Uh, the Silver Academy, we come up with it because uh, when we see elderly people outside there, uh, most of them, uh, they don't have hope. Sometimes they feel lonely in home. Mm -hmm. So uh, the reason why we uh, put this silver, uh, so we want to make them to be happy. Mm -hmm. we, want, we want to make them to realize that they are not alone. Mm -hmm. We are there for them, mm -hmm. and that's why we make this Silver Academy. Oh, yeah, that's so impactful. And to you, Madam Hilda. Okay, we came up with this uh, Silver Academy mm -hmm. because we thought we need to take care of our elderly people in the society mm -hmm. to make them happy and also to encourage them in the society. Mm -hmm. I've had to introduce yourself as an MCA. What is MCA? Because for me, I know MCA is the member of County <laughs> Assembly. <laughs> and to the Silver Academy, what does MCA mean? And, uh, what are your roles and responsibilities as a member of the Silver Academy? Okay, I'm the assistant into the uh, uh, Silver Academy. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I deal with assisting uh, in the work of this, uh, el helping the elderly people in the society, mm -hmm. uh, how to take care of them mm -hmm. and also to make them happy. Uh -huh. And to you, madam, what are your roles and responsibilities? My roles and re responsibility are uh, most of people nowadays, and uh, especially these generations, mm -hmm. if you see many old people, they feel so they are neglected mm -hmm. like this. Mm -hmm. So we come up with this academy so that we make, make them to be together so that they may realize that uh, there is something there for them. So uh, the reason why uh, I have an uh, history, one day I met with one, an old woman and the first time I stepped in her house, she was so lonely. And she told me, you are so much thankful welcome into my house because I was alone. Nobody's taking care of me. Nobody's care about me. So that's why we came up about with this Silver Academy. Mm -hmm. So that's why uh, we want uh, to, to make them be happy, mm -hmm. to gain hope. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. mm -hmm. So, um, I understand you had an orientation day for the Silver Academy. That was uh, not long ago. Maybe to tell us, how did you know and where to find them? How to locate them so that you may be able to talk to them and uh, tell them you have an academy that you're launching and uh, that they should come and also see uh, what package and programs that you have in store for them. Uh. We came to know about the elderly people. Actually, we have uh, we have friends, and also we have uh, different people that I meet with them. And whenever I meet the, with them, I know most of them they have mother, they have grandmothers. Mm -hmm. So through them, uh, I was able to meet with the uh, with the elderly people, mm -hmm. and also I had a talk with them. Mm -hmm. And when I I went to one home, I met this grandmother. Uh, she, she, already, she gave birth to many uh, daughters and, and sons, but they're not together with her. Mm -hmm. So she was just alone in the home. Mm -hmm. 
uh, just he locked herself in the in the home. So when I see her, she seems to be lonely and not to do. She had nothing to do and nobody to talk to. So through that, we came up with this uh, academy so that they ca we can come together and we can have a talk with them. We can do many activities with them mm -hmm. to make them have joy and also happiness. Oh. Now, maybe to help us to understand better. Now that they are here in uh, the Silver Academy, how do you get to identify their interest? Maybe say, this was in interested in farming, this one in, is interested in drawing, this one is interested in some different activities. How do you get to identify their interest as, uh, as their new people? And uh, from where I'm seated, they understand the senior citizens don't open up easily. They take time to open up. How do you bring them closer and also get to understand what are their interests? Okay. Uh, like this Saturday, mm -hmm. last Saturday, mm -hmm. we have an, something called an orientation. Mm -hmm. So most of them, they come, around 200. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So, wakati uh, walikuja, at first time, for them, they were not understanding why we are here. Mm -hmm. But later on, we come up with one mind that we have to give them classes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have different classes. Mm -hmm. English, mm -hmm. Kiswahili, mm -hmm. and uh, singing choir, mm -hmm. mindset, mm -hmm. learning how to use smartphone. Mm -hmm. Like you see, most of when we go to Shags, unapata mm -hmm. uh, shosho, Mm -hmm. Anatamani kutumia your smartphone, but sure. adui kutumia. True. That is one thing mm -hmm. we come up with mm -hmm. in our Silver Academy. Mm -hmm. Second thing, mm -hmm. Shosho anataka kuimba. Lakini unapata amenigletiwa, mm -hmm. anambiwa Shosho we uji kuimba. Mm -hmm. Oh, shazaeka <laughs> kachini. So, ni sisi wadogo, so, tuimbe. tuimbe. Okay. So, that's why we come up with this. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, because we are, they, so this mind, Iko kwao. Mm -hmm. Wanajua mimi, hata kitu wa shosho kuja tu imba. Sita imba, mimi ni mze. Oh. Watoto wadogo wa imbe. So this mind, inawafanya, wana feel lonely. Mm -hmm. So that's why we come up with these mm -hmm. different classes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. From what she said, that the senior citizen feel that they are lonely and also tumewatenga from the society. So if at all I call a senior citizen, tell him or her come dance with me, come sing with me, and they say it's for the young ones. Is it because that we have already shown need to them? Or is it because uh, from what you experienced during that orientation, is it because you've set them apart? Or is it because that they feel, I think I'm too old, I enjoyed during my own time and this is not my time? Is it because they, they have challenges with their health per se? They can't be vigorous in terms of body movement and all that. What is it that they are saying when it comes to such matters? Okay, uh, we came to realize that most of them, when they grow, they grow old, mm -hmm. uh, their body becomes stiff. And whenever they feel that they are, there's part of their body that is not active or they feel they are sick, so they want to just stay and sit, so they don't want to do some exercise. So what we try, like that day on the day of orientation, we try to we try to tell them to do some very simple exercise like stretching their hands, like uh, uh, moving, starting to step forward. So through that, they could see uh, they are still able to do something which can make them to be energetic and also they can mm -hmm. improve their health. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. I also heard you mention about uh, different activities and programs that you have in store for them. Maybe you can mention and also tell us briefly if, uh, what those programs entail and uh, in a nutshell, what are they going to gain by the end of the program? Okay, uh, by the end of the program, <coughs> like uh, I have an history of my grandmother, mm -hmm. you know, uh, these old people, mm -hmm. uh, like sometimes, mm -hmm. they don't have anybody to exchange mm -hmm. with them. So sure. maybe, our show show, na waze, tunawachukua kama watuto wadogo. Because according to the age, ni lazima umbembeleze. Na sometimes, amekua hearted, na somebody, ama mjukua, manani, but, 
kama huu mjukuu hata understand moyo wa shosho wa maguka hata muharas then the end of it usho shosho wa maguka hata ji express hata jinyamazia ndani and the end of it napata shosho ameshikwa na depression shosho anajifungia ndani anajiongelesha hataki kuona mtu yote so the reason why we came up with silver academy we want them to realize that kuna watu ambao wanawajali hawajaachwa bado they are still in our society yeah we'll be picking up from what she has said and um, when they feel that and uh, they have nowhere to outpour maybe to ask do you have professions professions like let's say in terms of mental health in terms of nutrition that you're bringing on board to work together with you to ensure that you're taking proper care of the senior citizens and also the caregiver in return during the time that they will be coming for the academy do you also have caregivers on board who are going to make sure that uh, you have the, the, the elderly community or the elderly society of the people who are going to be part of the academy that they have the one-on-one -on -one attention because like she has mentioned uh, the senior citizens they are more like the young ones they want the proper care and attention to be given to them do you have the caregivers to do that at a one-on-one -on -one level or how are you going to conduct it so that one doesn't feel i think you're concentrating on that person more than me i think this is not the place for me how are you going to carry out this for that so that all of them like she mentioned 200 people that's a lot that's a huge number to deal with especially given that they are the senior citizens what is the strategy that that you have to make sure that the the, the whole amount of the 200 people feel incorporated feel involved feel appreciated and the time worth being there uh, yes we had we have uh, several of people that we are going to involve to work together with them like we are going to we introduce this class of mind education and also about the health talk uh, in mind education uh, we are going to deal with uh, their mind and also uh, with their heart actually these elderly people we have to take care of their uh, their spiritual health and also we have to take care of their uh, mental health. So these people are going to give them mind education. They will talk to them about their mind, how to change their mind, and also to open up to people. And also in their heart, they are going to listen to the world of the heart, which can help them to uh, have a strong heart, to uh, be, uh, be able to work, to, to mingle with other people in the society. Mm -hmm. And also about their physical health, mm -hmm. we have, uh, we've introduced about an, uh, some an int int nut nutritionist who is going to help them in what uh, they are going to eat, mm -hmm. what they are eating, and how they are going to balance their food, mm -hmm. about the balance diet. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you have some ex exercises in store for them, maybe? let's say some walk some aerobics some yoga some name it do you have exercise in store for them and how are they going to carry out given that uh, not forgetting most of them have issues to do to deal with arthritis yeah we have uh, teachers who are going to help them to do the exercise mm -hmm. uh, we have somebody who's going to teach them uh, yoga mm -hmm. and also we have somebody who's going to do for the uh, help them do the exercise mm -hmm. which will help them to uh, mm -hmm. come up with a healthy body mm -hmm. and overcome uh, this issue of the arthritis mm -hmm. and also about the blood pressure mm -hmm. because all this come up with uh, because they are now because they feel their body is so weak mm -hmm. so they just want to sit and relax they don't want to disturb them but through the exercise it will help them to uh, make their body to be active mm -hmm. and then they can uh, they, their lifestyle can change mm -hmm. yeah. wow that is so interesting maybe coming to you in terms of the program maybe you can take us through uh, when they are coming how long the program is going to run and uh, in a day what are some of the activities that you have in store for them okay uh, <coughs> because they are old we cannot take for them long class mm -hmm. so <coughs> class here in enda kama two hours mm -hmm. evil. Mm -hmm. then they can break mm -hmm. so because uh, at first time 
Ah, wakati waliingia. They are very happy for the classes. Mm -hmm. Even one shoshu told me, I want to sing. Mm -hmm. You know, in my home, people think I don't know how to sing. Mm -hmm. But I'm very happy mm -hmm. to come up with this singing. Mm -hmm. I want to join the class of singing. <coughs> I want to, I even I want to sing in front of people. Mm -hmm. So through this, uh, uh, we, we decided that their classes can take only two hours, then after that, until every weekend, every Saturday weekend. and Sunday. For how long? For three months. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that one is so interesting given yeah. that uh, they have different activities to yeah. do during the week and now every weekend they have somewhere to go to and uh, yeah. able mm -hmm. also to meet with your fellow mm -hmm. senior citizen. Mm -hmm. Viewer, just send in your question, your comments across all our social media networks. That's GBS TV Africa. Our SMS line is two double one double four. Maybe to continue, uh, I had you mentioned about technology and teaching them simple English, Swahili. Is it that we have the native language so dominant than the uh, the national language, or why is it we have to teach them uh, English and Swahili as a lesson? Uh, like most of them, mm -hmm. uh, I talked with five of them. Mm -hmm. They say, I didn't go to school. Mm -hmm. I want to learn English. Even me, I want to know people. I want people to know that I know how to talk in English. Uh -huh. You know, in my area, people despise me because I don't know how to talk in mm -hmm. English. The second one told me that I want to know Kiswahili. My Kiswahili is not good, mm -hmm. so I want to know Kiswahili very well. Yeah. True. So when they come to you with such grievances that uh, people despise me because they don't know English, people despise me because they don't know Swahili, is it the neighbors, is it the immediate family, is it the grandchildren? Who are they that are despising him? And is it call, is it, can you call it despise? In terms of uh, just saying uh, so we can assume because growing up I've seen my parents talking in my native language simply because they can't understand the language so it's one way of communicating something that I don't want you to understand but I want you to understand and simply because you know that language I'll talk to you because I want to lock her out of the conversation how, what, what is their heart? Is it now despising in terms of despising in itself or is it despise in terms of I want to communicate and put you out of the communication? Uh, it is despising them in terms of putting them off not to, uh, not to get what they are talking about. Mm -hmm. Also it is a way of isolating them uh, from, the, uh, from what the conversation that they are talking <laughs> about. But hey, as a mother, yes, we've done that a hundred times. Yes. <laughs> now that you don't, now that I don't know how to talk, maybe let's say in Luo. Yeah. yeah. Even if, if I come out of here and I go to Kisumu, mm -hmm. and they realize that they were just Kisumu, so yes. they literally uh, talk in that language simply because you've seen something funny in me, you've seen something, there's so, there must be just something that you want to communicate yeah, that yeah. only you will get the inside joke. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it's the inside joke about you. Why should they let you know about it? <laughs> they don't want you to know about it because it might hurt you. So they want to hide some message. Exactly. <laughs> so so if I hide it from Shosho, that is mm. not negligence yeah. and that is not harassing her. See, I'm protecting her from pressure and uh, No, but Shosho feels he needs to listen yeah. what you are talking about because you are together with, with her, so she needs to be involved yeah. or he needs to be involved. Uh, but if you are together and we are like now we are here and you speak with another person, another, mm -hmm. so I feel, how do I feel? Why are they not involving me yeah. in their conversation? Especially when you go to Shags. Yeah. <laughs> Nowadays, so, our so kids are talking English. Yeah, English sure, Swahili. Sure. Then, show, show, how can I show you Kiswahili and Manini? So, normally, our Mimi, Nichanga Motokuba Sana Kwangu Nikenda na Watoto, Shoshua na Gumbana. Mona Musio Gelugenia to Nile, to Nilewa. 
Na mtoto but... sasa hiyo mm-hmm. hajui Kiswahili. Hajui like, dot jaka. Uh, no, ya... my question is eh? yeah. Hajui, let's say it's Kamba, let's say it's Luo, let's mm. say it's Kisi, let's say it's name the language. We yes. have a lot of language in Kenya. Mm. Yes. So this different ethnic language, enye mtoto ha understand, simply because born and raised in Nairobi. Might also be born and raised from the village, but you moved to the city, na yeah. hiyo ikapotea. Mm-hmm. Because, again, it depends. What do you frequently communicate with your children mm-hmm. at home? Mm-hmm. Now that to meenda shall go, and you're telling me <laughs> I have to communicate in that language, don't you think that is why we are here? Now to integrate mm-hmm. them to the English and the Swahili that they feel out of, because most of them that I've met, it's not as they find they don't know, but they're also not willing to learn. Do we have them in uh, silver? Are they willing to learn, or is it just a defense mechanism? Because also, to me personally, I find it as a defense mechanism. Because uh, if also, if I go to her, talking the broken Luo, talking the broken Kama <laughs> that I know, and I want to engage her, if it is something that he or she feels it's too corny, <laughs> he'll just find a way to dismiss me. <laughs> So how do you how do we work around this so that we don't miss out for the senior citizens and also we don't miss out for the young generation? How do we uh, evolve around it? Uh, some of them they think uh, they feel I cannot learn anymore. So during the orientation we came up with uh, we try to Google. Uh, a signboard that is written, there's no more learning, no school ahead. Uh, mm-hmm. So, well, we <laughs> came, there is no <laughs> meme. <laughs> <laughs> so, we came to find, uh, there's no more written, there's no school ahead. Mm-hmm. So, learning has to continue. Mm-hmm. So, though some of them, they think, now I'm so old, mm-hmm. I need not to learn. Mm-hmm. But now we come to change their mindset. That is why we are coming up with a, an issue this my, uh, class that is mindset education. Mm-hmm. So in mindset education, you come up from what uh, you don't want to learn to you have to learn. Okay. So that is why, although they don't want to learn the basic, mm-hmm. but you now we have to give them the mind to learn about the basic thing. Mm-hmm. Yes, my, grand, my grandmother does not know Kiswahili, mm-hmm. but through uh, these classes, mm-hmm. now she can gain the interest mm-hmm. of learning Kiswahili mm-hmm. or English, mm-hmm. the basic mm-hmm. one. Mm-hmm. For example, like my daughter, when they go, they speak to their grandmother. Their grandmother say, no, me, I did not go to school. <laughs> so you are disturbing with Kiswahili. Yes, that's what so <laughs> 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 I'm talking about. Yes. <laughs> because now, if I find Shoshua and Yambi, I didn't go to school yeah. and I can't talk to you in Kiswahili. Now, me, Sijuiki Jalona, Sijuiki Kamba. I'll also feel the urge of not going to mm-hmm. the Ushago. Mm-hmm. And if I feel the urge of not going to Ushago, you might force me as a parent mm-hmm. at that age because mm-hmm. also parents will have the mechanism of um, tendency of, you you know, you're planning to go to Ushago either from the dad's side or the mom's mm-hmm. side. You just plan. Like we said, you talk in the native language that you don't understand. And uh, in that conversation, you end up saying, I'm going with her and her and her, or her and him. And you don't ask me. I also need the right to be asked at the same time, mm-hmm. which I also face the same challenge that we face with the young generation. Uh, uh, it's also more like the same challenge you're facing with the senior generation because when it also comes in terms of making decisions and involving them, we most of the time don't involve them simply because uh, mm-hmm. uh, you think I'm old. Mm-hmm. Ama, you're not including me simply because you think I'm old. Don't you think the wisdom I have or the wise wisdom I have I can share? Ama unasema whatever knowledge I have near the past. Because also that is the tendency that we have. So how do we break this monotony and learn the things that we also as youth have learned and the defense mechanism to relearn like you said the shoshos uh, things to do with uh, 
now English and Swahili so that they don't say how mm -hmm. are breaking that um, with the difficulties how are you going to manage that in terms of kulan sasa First, we are going to make them to have an interest right. about the language, and then we are going to make them to have the motive that is so sure. you will be able to communicate with your your granddaughter mm -hmm. uh, in a very easy way. So it is good for you to learn this language, mm -hmm. so that you can you can take, tell uh, talk stories with your grandchildren and your your younger. Uh, younger generation. generation. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe to come to you, maybe you can add on the same and tell mm. me. <laughs> In a normal school <laughs> setup, to na job by the end of it, kuna exam. Okay, do you have exam? Are they expecting to have an exam by the end of the day so that you can gauge how much Kiswahili, how much English, and how much they have gained? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell us more about it. So, uh, before Waingie classes, mm -hmm. So you know, when you me say before, lazima wa bimbeleze kama mtoto. You know, if you want to teach your baby about smartphone, so namshika kidole, ina fanya hivi, ata shosho tu namfanya hivi hivi, ndi get interest. Uwezi mambia kafa, ndi shosho apata hiyo moyo wa kufanya hiyo class. Lazima ata kama ni kiswahili muandiki na kalamu. So msome, arudie, ata fata interest. Lakini kimwaras, hii mm -hmm. simu nimekununulia umempelekea simu, mm -hmm. smartphone na juu kutumia. Lakini umempe, shosho ndio hii simu, so nipo nalia simu. Alafu, aone hiyo simu, apate ni smartphone. Atasema hii smartphone, sijui kutumia. Mm -hmm. Lakini kwa muambia, we ulitaka simu, unataka nifanya aji. Umemwaja, shosho na kwa ataka, sama, huu mtoto akataka ni juu, ni juu kutumia. So you must teach her, or him, kumuambia, mm -hmm. inashikwa hivi, inaenda hivi. Mm -hmm that time social and other part of interest sana mm -hmm. then that last time we got to look on orientation mm -hmm. we told them slowly by slowly ah mpaka kaniambi shosho moja kaniambi tutapata karatasi ya mtiani ah hiyo ni mzuri hiyo ni mzuri ndio wajuku wangu watajua nimepita kiswahili ama nimepita kiingereza hiyo ni mzuri yeah so if they had that they will do exam mm -hmm. na watapewa marks mm -hmm. they are very happy yeah. Ah, that is so interesting. Yeah. Maybe briefly you can tell us. Uh, you mentioned something to do with the national exam. Are you going to nurture them to a point of where they can sit for their national exam? For those who did not do their um, grade 8 and uh, senior high school, are they going to do also that? Yeah, they are going to. All oh, right. Yeah. A viewer, these are some of the things that you are going to find in the Silver Academy. Send in your question, your comments across all our social media networks. That's GBS TV Africa. Our SMS line is 2144. We'll take a short break. <laughs> 